Hello Internet. Do you know, data integrity is one of the most important part in pharmaceutical industry. This is one of the most discussed topic in recent years and it has gained a lot more importance. To make a quality system robust and transparent, understanding level of regulatory and current practices plays an important role. Our focus today will be on API industry principles of ICH Q7. We thought of including finished doses formulation. However, it may increase the length of the video. We will have that covered in our next video. Before that, like and subscribe Pharma Buddies for more informative videos. Click on the bell icon for updates and notification. It is important to understand Q7 principles for data integrity regulators expectations, understand bad practices versus data integrity issues and a few GMP examples. We will try to cover the most of these in this video. The quality management of ICH clearly states that quality is everyone's responsibility. This means API manufacturer should establish, document and implement effective system for managing quality. The system for managing quality should encompass the organizational structure, procedures, processes and resources as well as activities to ensure that API will meet its intended specification for quality and purity. Just being ignorant on data integrity practices will not exempt you from your responsibility. There are examples in past that the FDA investigators were surprised to know that the site is unaware of practices and procedures for implementing better control system to avoid data falsification or incorrect data generation at site. This is serious. The site was slapped warning letters. All quality related activities should be contemporaneously recorded and any identified deviation should be documented, investigated and explained. In order to strengthen the integrity of data within the premises, it should ensure investigation of critical deviations and quality related complaints. The deviation or complaints need a solution and one should record the conclusion. Effective calibration and maintenance program should be in place for critical equipment. All material at appropriate stage are to be tested and the results reported API should have stability data to support expiry or retest dates with storage condition requirements. Production facility should be appropriately cleaned and disinfected. All relevant validation activities should be in place and validation reports are to be reviewed and approved. And if there is a deviation even after following all these, this can be due to lack of understanding on data integrity. Data is term integral when it is complete, trustworthy, reliable, consistent and accurate. If these traits are missing, it shows our inability to detect and prevent ineffective data integrity practices and it will raise serious concerns on effectiveness of an established quality system. To further ensure good practices on data integrity, all computer systems should have sufficient control to prevent unauthorized access, data manipulation and erasing of recorded values. The system should be capable enough to capture all activities in a trail manner, maintaining the traceability of all actions performed during a specified activity period. So, what should you do to identify a poor data integrity issue? First, challenge the activities. Second, self-inspection. Third, verification of all raw data during the batch release. Fourth, incorporating additional check when manual activities are performed. Fifth, regular training. 
It is often seen in industry that data integrity and GMP issues or bad practices are incorrectly interpreted. Intent to deceive versus a mistake if not differentiated either by site or by auditor can attract wrong conclusion. What all can be the example of data integrity? Deleting electronic records, hiding the records, repeat analysis without documentation, trial sample analysis in high pressure liquid chromatography or HPLC before acquiring official sample results, not maintaining audit trails in electronic system, destroying GMP hard copy records with partially filled or signed copies. ICH Q7 draws a clear line between what to be done and what to be avoided. There should be clear understanding between falsification and bad GMP practices. The current practices and system should have the ability to ensure integrity of data, traceability and reliability. Merely changing SOPs or firing employees will not eliminate data integrity issues. The quality system should prevent, detect and control potential risk to data integrity. To conclude, do not believe in words, always check the data and records. Remember, your medicine reaches everyone, even your family members.